hi welcome back to one more video tutorial if you are new to this channel you can subscribe my channel for more updates from toolbar select rectangle tool and draw a rectangle now take direct selection tool press and hold shift key and select those two answer points and drag it inside and make a curve now press and hold shift and alt key and drag it down and make it smaller in size now rotate the object and make an angle. Now drag the object to the brush tool. Select pattern brush. OK. Now delete it. Now from the toolbar select ellipse tool. Press and hold shift and alt key and drag it outside and make a circle. Now let us make duplicate of the circle. Now select the outer circle and click on the brush tool. Select the inner circle and again copy, paste in place and drag it outside. Now fill it with color. Change the outline color so that it would be visible for us. Now select this, copy, paste in place and drag it inside. Now select the inner circle and increase the stroke. Now expand it. Now select the circle and take scissor tool and cut into different pieces so that we can apply text in top and bottom. Now take text tool and uh, write the text on the top. Similarly, write the text on the bottom. Now select both the text by pressing and holding shift key and from here increase the size of the text. Now select the text and uh, take the limit to the end. Now bring the text on the middle. Now let us take the font uh, on the middle of the curve. So from here to center, OK. And from here, take it center and flip the text, OK. Now change the font. Now increase the space. Increase the space of the bottom text. Yeah, it looks fine. Now select both the curve by pressing and holding shift key and from here increase the uh, stroke. Expand it. Draw a circle by pressing and holding shift key. Now duplicate the circle. Now remove the fill color and keep outlines only. Increase the stroke. Now duplicate the objects by pressing and holding Alt key. Now expand it and unite them. Now take the objects on the middle. Now draw a circle here. Now take direct selection tool and select this answer point and click here. Select this answer point, use down arrow key and increase the length and make cone shape. Now give offset so that we can make some gap. Now change the color of the offset so that it would be visible for us. Now select the multiple objects by pressing and holding shift key. Now press and hold alt key and delete those unwanted areas. Now take pen tool and draw a shape.
now take scissor tool and uh, cut the unwanted area now join those two points fill with color now reflect it press an alt, alt key and take answer point on the middle and reflect it copy now select both the objects by pressing shift key and uh, unite them now take a smooth tool and move over the object so that we can get uh, fine edges now give some offset so that we can make some gap change the offset color so that it would be visible now select the offset and those objects and press and hold alt key and delete those unwanted areas make duplicate and make it smaller in size take it upward now take pen tool and uh, draw a straight line now from the brush tool uh, select arrow brush now decrease the stroke of the arrow now expand it unite it now press and hold alt key and uh, delete all those uh, white objects now change the color Now let us save this uh, logo in transparent PNG so that we can apply it for mockup. Now minimize Illustrator and open Photoshop CS6. From here, open mockup file. Double click here. OK. Now open our transparent logo image that we have saved in desktop. Now drag the logo over mockup file, put it on the middle, unmark the background, click yes and check out the logo. Hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe this channel. See you in next video.